Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Mind Pace with me. We're giving our crack at this whole pirate thing, aren't we? So, right, things, mod pack we've been playing around with, designing, adding bits to, blah, blah, blah. We added a bunch of stuff for the ocean, which... I don't know how much this really came into play, but the sea serpents seem happy, so great. Apparently there's a kraken out there. Haven't seen one yet, but, you know, it's made a bit like a rare strong thing anyway. Although, how strong the thing is when you get main piece in is a bit questionable. <laughs> so, that one would come into play. Uh, an island mod, that's pretty cool when you tinker with it in the, um, the config to make it, you know, suit your needs if you want a lot of islands or very, very islands blah, blah, blah. you can pretty much adjust that so yeah that's fun that's that's a good one and then we came to like actually like building a ship and having a ship and stuff and we did start playing with eureka the valkyrie skies mod except it's in alpha and bugs blah, 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 blah. as we learned when our boats became uh, built i was gonna be, say airship but it's like it's not really flying it's just more it's bouncing on the water to the moon I, I i don't really know how to explain it other than yeah it just decides it's gonna bounce to the point where you hit your head on an invisible barrier and die <laughs> and yeah it's a simple enough thing you make one of these you take it ba -dum, ba -dum, and then you just assemble the ship there we go we've now assembled the ship now we can drive the ship excellent it's not very quick as it currently is cool and this one's fine this one doesn't bounce <laughs> This is great. Um, and yeah, but I, I, as I've looked into this mod a bit more and stuff, yeah, so sure enough, there are obviously weight factors to this. If you put so many items in certain things, your ship or whatever will bend around the things. But having things like wooden stuff is really good because it lets you float and move and do that. That's okay. Cool. Other things I've learned, one being a line is just, like I saw, I just aligns you with the like Minecraft straight line things. That's all well and good. Disassemble doesn't work. Apparently in this version, it just doesn't work. So, I was scratching my head over what I may be doing for that. There was nothing I could have done. It just was never meant to be. So, that's fair enough. Also, I'm noticing all the items are falling out. What's, what's going on here? Because chestnuts stay active in this. What the fuck? I'm struggling to get under the water. Let me under. <laughs> Game! What is this? Why is it Why is it acting like this? Go away, ladders. Ladders are the issue. Get rid of them. Alright, okay. There we go. Um... I don't really have an answer for that one. That one was just weird. Why, why, why did stuff come out there? What happened there? I don't know. I've seen this before. And maybe because the items are going under the water. Yellow. What? Let's not question it. Let's just go down. What the fuck? Yeah, like, there's items in here. I think these are the items we're pretty much getting. Yeah, I think I think they're just. I think the little things are just freaking out. Now, nah, whatever. It's not a big deal anyway, but... Yeah, I mean, for the most part, you got a functioning ship. It's just when you start adding the extras on, it becomes a bit more complex. A bit more complex, but still, a lot of fun. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of fun still. On top of that, um, you can add stuff on, you can interact. Like, the boat's still going right now. But technically, I'm still able to move around. Why am I not able to place you on there? What? What? Oh. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Why? What's this? Yeah, you're fine as well. Why is this corner being weird? What? Yeah, literally, this half of the boat's being weird. It's... I don't know. Okay, that was weird as well. Whatever. Anyway, point being, the boat mod is quite fun. Obviously, if you had to start adding stuff on it, now it started getting a bit weird. So, what was what was the thing? So, we started playing with the floaters because I saw a floater and I thought that meant float on water. And a comment said, oh, you got something called a floater and you're surprised it made you float. It's like it didn't make me float, it made me bounce. <laughs> That's why I was surprised. You have something called an airplane, you have something called a floater. And you can take an educated guess to what you think each one would do. The airplane makes it so you can fly. The floater makes it so you could float. I don't think of the floater and think, yeah, that's going to let me float in the air. Because, I mean, it doesn't. It, ju it just makes me, like, float out of the water. So, I mean, yeah, if we go under here and we put one down, blah. It helps elevate the boat up a bit. It goes off the number of blocks depending. So, if I put another one down, it'll go up even more. And go another one in, it'll go up even more. Cool. That's... That's cool. You put too many in, though, and the thing goes crazy. <laughs> it's another thing we've learned. So, yeah, if we start moving now... Well, we're pretty much still the exact same, aren't we? Just because I haven't put too many of them in. It's just now we're a bit higher up, which, yeah, this works. Uh, if you, as long as you don't put too many floaters in, is what I've learned. Also, you're being weird again. Stop that. Assemble. Yes. 
No, it's doing that thing. Hold on. Click a line again. Then go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you click a line, it tries to force you into a straight line, which, I mean, can be alright. If you're wanting to go a straight line against something, sure. <laughs> Makes sense. You want to park your boat very neatly at a coasting? Sure. I know, this might be really cool for playing with our people, because, like, while I'm steering, our people can go on the boat doing stuff. You can still interact with blocks. So, as I said, when we go out around, we can still go do that. The dummies did not survive. Okay, that's good to know. Well, the real fun starts here anyway. The old engine. You put one of these bad boys on and you're going to go super quick. Let's see, pop that in there. Go and ah, we're off. Yeah, so the engines are are, are absurd. They, they, they increase your speed a huge amount. To the point where, yeah, you start doing stuff like that where you just take off into the sky. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, if we get rid of these floaters. And we try this again. You know, having having the flowers help? Uh, not really. No, no. I'm still I'm still pretty much an airship that's gonna bounce. <laughs> so yeah, that thing makes you go really quick. It's just not very handy for you know an actual boat because you don't want your boat bouncing. I imagine it's that the thing. It's like yeah, I could I could like I could make myself go, but I'd have to like be very. I can't just hold straight with it. <laughs> oh god, okay, and then what I've also learned is, yeah, so, uh, these things, this is maybe weights, this is maybe weigh your boat down. It's like, you're meant to put these down, and it's meant to make it so your boat stays down better. So, I mean, that's all well and cool, if it helps, which I don't think it will with the engine, to be honest. Yeah, okay, there we go. As you can see, our boat is now sinking because I put too many weights down. <laughs> <laughs> Logical. Right, yeah, well, that makes sense. If you so much weight in your boat, you would go down. It doesn't stop this thing, though! No, that's just, they're just counterbalances. They're just, if you're, you're, you're I, I don't even know what they're counterbalances for exactly. They just make your thing way more, I suppose. So, yeah, let's get rid of those really quick. Can I, kind of, can I, can I balance this off to, like, the back a lot? Like, I reckon it's gonna sink the feck. Yeah, no, it's just gonna sink the fecking boat before. <laughs> <laughs> I managed that, yeah, no, get rid of them, get rid of them, the two, the too much, the too much, go away. Right, and you can feck off and all. Sorry, with that thing gone, yeah, we just now move like a regular boat. So pretty much, yeah, the, the boats just aren't super fast if you want to go with a boat. Which, honestly, I'm not exactly, I don't really mind. Like, I like the idea of being able to make things a bit quicker, but, I mean, if it, the cost of it is, you need to bounce, essentially, like, yeah, I can, I can go without <laughs> <laughs> I can go without that, it's fine. Okay, I'll done this time I put like a, a like a lot of flowers down for whatever reason it's not helping the boat stay up that much. <laughs> On earth. Well I counter uh, did I leave Wiles blocks on the counterbalance the fecking thing down? I don't think I did. Or uh, ah, whatever. But yeah, I mean I guess the easiest way for the floaters would just be to put them on the very bottom. That way they're just part of the ship's design, you know. I think now the bottom's still getting covered in water occasionally. Hmm. Well, whatever. Right, well, the boats are fun and all. So, yeah, we've got kind of a boat thing going. I don't know how well this thing's going to work in multiplayer. I need to test that at some point. Having our player on while we've got a boat. But, yeah, that's a thing to test. The step that went beyond this, though. Like, oh, the world testing with main piece. Yeah, no, these boats are pretty much indestructible to main piece stuff. If we give ourselves enough X3 so we're strong. And we do things like the strong slash. We don't destroy the boat. Which is very handy. <laughs> As easily one of my favourite parts this is the fact I won't destroy the boat. TNT still destroys the boat. And that's fine. That's TNT. That's meant to destroy boats. Uh, it'll be interesting if they add in features like the idea that if, you know, you have, like, a sail, you can, you know, swim a bit quicker and stuff. That would be... That would be nice too, but, you know, whatever. I also learned how the anchor works. Apparently, you've got to add a redstone signal to it. If you add a redstone signal to the anchor, then it will... I think it was like... It'll basically hold you in place, so like your boat can turn a bit and stuff and move a little bit, but like it won't, it won't float away. So basically, you do that if you were like parking yourself about to do something, so someone can just run away with your boat. <laughs> Makes logical sense. Not that you can really run away with boats very quickly. Like you could probably dip straight or swim quicker than a boat could, but a boat counts as a portable base, doesn't it? Like you can build an entire whole well. Assume it doesn't fall apart when you assemble it. You could build you know an entire pretty much living quarters in these kind of boats, and then. Take it around with you and stuff. You can put valuables and stuff in it and take them around with you. And of course, yeah, you can take an entire crew with you. While some of them are able to fight as you're moving and things. I'll say the boat situation with my map is confusing me though. Like, basically, if, if, even though I'm technically turning with the boat, it doesn't seem to register that my character is turning. And thus, 
it's getting confused to which way I'm meant to be looking. <laughs> it's like, it, oh, I don't know. Yeah, traveling with the boat would be quite confusing. Because, like, I want to go that way, specifically. So it's like, I need to, like, convince the boat that that's the direction I want to go. Which is hard because my little character's not turning, so I don't know which way I'm meant to be going. Da -da -da. This is definitely where having other people aboard your ship would be very handy. <laughs> okay, there's an our ship there, which is exactly what would be perfect for the next part of this little trial. I can't so much bigger fancier ship, actually. I just want to steal that ship. That ship's looking a lot nicer than this ship. Like, like this is a too small ship. That ship's looking big. It's fancy. It's got the glorious pink sails. <laughs> like... Oh, da -da. I mean, I just want to take that ship. Alright, hold on, just quickly. Da -da. Align the ship where it should be, and off we go on to the neighbouring ship. Da -da. Yeah, ship's quite interesting, it's got a little... The, the round bit, the kind of skinny neck bit, and then our round bit, I mean, that quite fun. But yeah, okay, this is from the Pirates thingy mod. This, this is going to have, like, OP treasure and stuff in it. Hello, lads. Out of the way. Yeah, there's a lot of them in this ship. Out of the way. There we are. Right, now I can take an assumption. Ooh. I can take an assumption that if I put the thingy on this ship, it's going to sink massively. Almost certainly, yes. Pop that there. Assemble. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Will the ship sink? Yeah, mostly, yeah. Okay, so this part, yeah, now we take the floaters, we start putting floaters on, see if that helps. Okay, now lined it with like a crap ton of floaters and what's the damage inside? So yeah, that stuff remained where it is. Cool, yeah, that never went under really water though, did it? Under here did. And yeah, some of the stuff did in fact pop out. I don't know where from though, because I'm just looking, I'm just noticing, yeah, that's not the stuff from that chest. Where the feck was that chest? I don't know, this is very odd. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. We have a far out view thing anyway if we want to move around so yeah we can take this spell it moves still at fine speed done done that's all good and well so the thing i asked about on this was what about cannons and i got given an answer aka the blocky siege mod apparently has a number of cannons in it like the cannon and the mortar and the reinforced door and the ballista stand and the hawacha block yeah, okay, so this has got a lot going on with it. So, right, first things first then. A cannon! So, cannons made from a bunch of iron blocks, a blast furnace, and some wood. Alright, cool, it looks like that. Awesome. Also, evidently from me placing down, it works with this mod! So, I should be able to sail with this thing. And, yeah, sure enough, the cannon is in fact moving with it, none like the... The training dummies, because they can't live against these kind of as well. Yeah, they broke. This doesn't know. This is this is good stuff. So, right, how the heck does this thing work? <laughs> I don't know. I've not tried it. Uh, there are cannonballs. So that's just iron and more iron. Cool. So plug the iron cannonballs in. Okay, so they go there. I'm assuming gunpowder next. I'm assuming we use gunpowder for the next part. There we are. Pop that in there. Yep, sure enough. That looks like gunpowder, because that just filled up whatever that is. And then the next part for this, I believe, is a redstone signal. So, a couple of curiosity bits. Am I able to put redstone along here? Yeah, sure enough, it seems to stick with the boat. So, that's fun. So, in theory, I could, like, grab a block there, pop that there. Grab a lever? Yeah, grab a lever. Oh, yeah, there we go. I didn't go as far as I would hope. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, it's got limited range. I mean, it makes sense it's got limited range, but still, it's, yeah, okay. Uh, that's the thing. It works, though. It works, though, which is fun. What the fuck? Are you just going to keep going? Are you? You're going to keep, you're going to keep firing? I'm not sure. Anyway, there's also the gunpowder barrel which apparently can also get fired all right sure throw that in and yeah so this is another thing is going to quickly test is could we technically have a line of cannons all powered by the one redstone signal and technically you could just have like one guy sitting there like just f get ready fire the cannons bump at a moment's notice all right should we find out 
That sounds like all of them went off. Yep, they all went off. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it kind of works. But I need to get closer. I need to get my boat in a bit closer for this. There we go. Is angled this a bit better. Oh, we're getting a bit... A bit caught in the old... Um... There we go. Oh, that works. It did damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was hoping for! That's what I was wondering. So, okay, these balls aren't affected by normal Mingra. Ah, uh, like, me you doing, like, you know, my slash attack and that. No, but they are destroyed by explosions. Like, proper explosions. Like, proper Minecraft explosions. Which means, yeah, if we did, in fact, take a... Uh, a cannon mod and applied it. Yeah, no, they can still destroy boats. They can still do things, apparently. Oh, that's very interesting. All right, next thing we've got is a mortar. It's more iron, blast furnace, and more birchwood. Okay, it's something called a mortar shell. Right, more gunpowder, right. And our redstone thing. I mean, it went. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping you'd go a bit further there. Why do you not go very far? <laughs> is there a reason for that? Oh! Oh, <gasps> hold on. Oh! Oh, I was like, oh, they're not, they're not doing very much with the... Oh, bless <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. Turn you to three. Turn you to two. Fire. Let's compare... Oh yeah, there's quite a quite a wee distance uh, change. So, okay, so you can adjust the cannon's fire. It uses more gunpowder. Fair enough, but yeah, you can adjust it. <laughs> and all this works with the mod. I was told in the comments that this mod did like the, the uh, what you call the blocky siege mod did in fact work with Eureka and stuff and uh, all this thing. I was like, okay, hopefully you know it does. I did you know you you don't know for sure until you try. It, I suppose you know I can put that down. Wait, wow. Oh, there we go. Why are you being weird? <laughs> it's like a visual thing. It's just not wanting to work, really. Right, hold the bus. If I were to put that there, this could end very poorly. Um, I feel like that's sticking out, though, isn't it? Like, yeah, I mean, that kind of looks like it is. And then if I... Yeah, no, it's not, it's not really, like, you know, going out properly. Nerf. I got so confused there. I was looking at the wobbling, I thought my character was wobbling. <laughs> no, no, it's the boat wobbling, it's fine. Uh, right, hold on, hold on. Da, da, da. Put that in there, put that in there. I'm about to block my own ship, let's find out. No, it goes out. If I close that over. <laughs> uh. Okay. What if? What if I put the the bit, the bit not there? Okay, what if I have it looking like that? What if I man the cannon? Yeah, so at this point that looks like it's covered. Oh yeah, <laughs> need a bit of stuff back in. Uh, gunpowder thingy. Wait, I can just put gunpowder in here. That feels like a good way to just blow up my own ship. Oh yeah, that happens. Like that. This is all working out so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to work as well as it did. But no, yeah, it just blows up that area. As it should! I had a thing covering it. Oh, oh, you can have so much fun messing with this with cannons. Like, yeah, sure, the cannons... Actually, I don't know how strong they are if I get hit by them. I need to test that. But yeah, I assume the cannonballs themselves wouldn't be that big a deal for, like, you know, getting hit as a player once you're at a high enough level. Because One Piece. But, like, it's going to mess up your boat. And, like, you know, you don't want your boat getting destroyed. <laughs> Message your boat up enough it might hit something viable. Or it might, you know, destroy the fucking control thing itself. Don't know what happens if that if you control or destroy the control thing. But, yeah. Okay, I've got two other things here. Got a ballista stand. What the fuck? Ah. What? <laughs> Okay, so that's not connecting right because we're on a floaty thing, but I'm assuming this is meant to be some kind of auto turret that like... Okay... 
So wait, what if I put like an enemy down? There we go, look, a pillar just invaded the base. Are you gonna... No, you don't wanna... Go. No. Looks like it's kind of aiming at it. Well, that just fucking killed it. No, yeah, it is aiming. It's not actually firing. <laughs> yeah, that one may be a bit shaky on the old, um, the boat, because, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe just leave that one. Let's get this thing. This thing looks fun. That looks like kind of thing you load with fireworks. Um, yeah, because it is. Huh. That's very interesting, because, um, yeah, some rockets do damage if you if you make them right. Those rockets are harmless. They don't destroy anything. You could rock, you could fill this fecker up with, like, good rockets, which would take so long for grinding up resources for it, but you could fecking do it. Oh. Well, his fall damage just accumulated there, apparently. Um, well, well, well. Wait, can I put levers on them? Oh, you can. Air fits on it. Neat. And yeah, sure enough, the, all the stuff comes with you, so... Boom, ba -dum, you could just, you know, position yourself as you want. Other people could be manning the cannons. Till you're ready to go. Actually, speaking of which... I feel like you're in range of at least some of my cannons. <laughs> Fire! Yes. Yes, it is. It's like where destruction came with it. Excellent. Uh, wait, where is the where is the steering wheel? The steering wheel's there. Well, if I try and hit the steering wheel, what will happen then? Hold on, just give it a minute. Give it a minute. Almost in position. <laughs> it does take a little while to move around. I, I would like if we could move slightly quicker, but alas, it's it's this or to the moon. Like, there is no middle ground. It's either this or it's you know you go crazy with it. So, yeah. Well, this might actually hit. Hit our, an area near it. Go again. No, I missed that time. Okay. No, I went too far that time. Look, anyway, we get we get the point. We get the point anyway. We got cannons mode. <laughs> that works really well with the ah. I am really, really curious how many of my is gonna work with this. Like, you know, main piece is awesome. I'm still waiting for more updates for that and things and more bosses stuff for that. It, that's, it's, it's still going to be a fun adventure to use main piece. Made of my nomi though, like, I feel like that one's going to be ready first, I imagine, like... I mean, it depends on your uh, status of ready. Like, main piece, you can technically play it now, it's just, you know, there's a lot of strong enemies flying around. <laughs> and they'll have any weak ones. And you power up really, really quickly, blah, blah, blah. So, I, like, I don't know, you just... just I, rather dig a series that one, I do want to wait until there's a bit more to it. A bit more lower enemies and things to fight against. For a more full adventure, so I'm not fighting against the same, like, three enemies over and over again until I get to, like, a certain level. Then I'll just kick, kick into fighting, like, all the stronger enemies. Now, I'll wait until there's a bit more variety. That one. Me uh, may not know me, though. Like, that's... From what I heard, it was getting worked on 0.16 for a while. It was supposed to be coming soon. I think the last time I heard someone say something about it, it's, like, by the end of the year. Or something. Like, obviously, that could change because it could come into problems and bugs or battle that they want to fix or... Something could take longer, or scheduling, IRL, like, there's so many things that could go wrong. And da, da, da. So you never really know what's on board until it's out. Like, someone can say, yeah, it's coming out. So you can just, you wait for it, and you just, you hope it'll be out around that time. <laughs> so, I mean, hopefully we'll see it before the end of the year. Is that my thing? Which would be fun. But yeah, the sooner the better. I want to play One Piece of 1.16 in <laughs> this series. The big series, trying to convince, convince some more people to join. I said, I don't know how Eureka works on the server, so I guess that'll be one of the next tests. We'll try and grab, like, Demon or something, and we'll see if we can get them to come and play on the server. And we'll see if this boat mod actually works with groups or not. Because it's potentially it doesn't work with a group yet, and, like, maybe because it's still an alpha. Alpha mod is on a server, or, well. It's in a good with beta, but, like, you know, it's, it claims itself with alpha fight. So, like, you know, it's still early in development. Da da da. Bugs galore, possibly, you know. So far, it works, apart from the bouncing thing, which I don't know if that's how it's meant to be, or else that's just a property gone wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like... If this does work, even at just this base level, you can certainly have fun with this. You can certainly get a grip, da-da-da, and then start adventuring around the ocean, 
especially Mena Mena Mi, where you've got bulks of active pirates to fight against and devil fruits to hunt and things like you know, you can have some fun with that. Even better if you can convince two groups to join. <laughs> it could be one group versus another group, that'd be even better, because you could have bolt on bolt combat. Especially I, I I really just want to know how Mena Mena Mi affects the block physics for this. Like if I use Ice Sage, will it just kill everything? Or like will the bolt remain fine and just the ice forms around and you've got to kind of break your bolt out? Or you've got to fight the person and did the like Oh, I've got so many things I want to test. This is the mod makes it over here. Oh, there be land. Should we see how, how well this affects if you're on land? Go for it. Fire! I mean, it's not bad. The only one's hitting. <laughs> yeah, it seems to have kind of the same effect as like... Our main piece slashes, aka it does well against regular soft ground, soft materials and things, destructive materials. But against stone it becomes a bit of a problem, which makes sense. That's kind of how creepers and that work, isn't it? Where, you know, they'll destroy a lot of terrain, but you know, as soon as you start hitting the old thingy magic, the stone becomes harder for it. Err. Okay, I need to know how like, okay, how how much damage will we take? Yeah, they normally advise you not to get your shell shot with a cannon, but you know. That's that's normal people. <laughs> this be one piece. One piece ain't normal. Right, okay, so what we can do is we can read the redstone signal. That is actually hold on, I want no, no, hold on, I want I got I want it up a bit higher. There you go, that's better. Uh da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh how's this gonna work? Yeah, put a block behind it. Put the redstone signal around. Then you put the lever at my feet. <laughs> yeah, I should be far enough. Alright, sure. I can't see this going wrong. So as it currently stands, we are level 10. So we have a little bit of armor. Not a huge amount of health did this. So we're not actually that strong currently. I mean this could very well kill us. But we're not well we'll not let that little detail stop us. Ready and Fire! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we blocked it! Get out of the way! Oh my god, the hip physics thing! We can block the cannonballs at level 10! Yes! It's everything I would have wanted. That makes sense! Once you've got hockey stuff, what's a cannonball to you? So you can use your body to protect the ship. So I'm more likely to get hurt just by the, the splash damage. Or not, because we just blocked that as well. What? The feck? What is happening? Change over to the gunpowder barrels! Fire! Oh. Oh, that worked a bit better. Okay, so the cannonballs are just solid oops, like, because, yeah, they're cannonballs. The gunpowder barrels, on the other hand, explode. <laughs> and it turns out we can't block those as easily. Oh, that's good to know. Again. How far does it go? Yeah, not super far. Yeah, even if I'm, like, standing... I'm standing near enough by that it hits us a little bit. Yeah, no, I think we're alright as long as we don't take a direct hit. Ah! Yeah, we're alright. We're not bleeding, but we're alright. Uh oh. But <laughs> Why did you fire another? Right, regardless, I'm seeing I'm seeing fun I'm seeing fun potential there. That's a cool mod. If we're ever doing like yeah, pirate based one piece stuff, like yeah, that's uh that's uh, this is a mod I'd like to include. <laughs> The Eureka Shit spot is quite fun. Uh, obviously, need to try it on the server to see how it reacts. And then, yeah, the the cannon one's cool. I like it. It's got a variety of cannons, some making more sense than others, depending on, like, obviously. Like, they obviously make sense for cannons, but I mean, like, they make more sense depending on your. the team area you're going with. Like, the ballista stand thing's a bit weird for us, because it's an automatic turret, apparently. So, I mean, alright, that's. that's certainly something game, but. You know, you could fill this fecker with, um. Hold on, what if I put this in? We fire this thing. Go. No? How do you work? <laughs> what do you do? How do you, how how do you operate? 
What else is something's violent towards us? Which I mean, why why would they just just don't hit it then? I don't. Oh, I'll out. I was gonna say, yeah, you literally are about to explode, mate. Um, what? <laughs> okay, this is quite cool. You can just leave the stand there. How do you how do you fix it? Maybe you don't, or maybe you're supposed to like break it down, replace it down at that point. I don't know. Okay, yeah, okay, that's that's the thing. And obviously, there's the mortars. Those are quite interesting. Pop that in. Done, done. Dun. I imagine they do a lot. It's just they go up instead of down. You know. Oh wait, hold on. Mortar shells are a different thing. Uh, ba ba da ba da. Mortar shell. All right. There's also the mortar shell. That one. Yes, yeah, so that's just a cannonball. Cool. I imagine this one's gonna have a bit more oomph to it then. Yeah, it looks like a bit more. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that just shoots fire. Oh, okay. What? Okay, I think I cure. I'll see if I can load myself up against fireworks. <laughs> How are you gonna work? How? What's, what's gonna happen with you? Because I should be able to block your attacks. I kind of can, but it can overload us. Also, those still hurt. <laughs> those are just basic ones. Bring it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not tanking this well. No, 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 no. That thing's way more vicious than I thought it was going to be. I thought, like, you'd have to, like, load that up with powerful fireworks. <laughs> Maybe you do. Maybe those help, but... <laughs> yeah, no, the basic ones don't care. The basic ones will still kick ass if someone gets in front of them. And even if they get fucking hockey... They're still not going to enjoy taking the shots head on. <laughs> oh, that. Okay, so this, work, this works a bit around. Obviously, if you get a higher level, you get stronger armor and things like that, so it won't do as much damage, but, you know. It takes a lot of resources, but if you're going in for a fight, prepared with stuff like this, you could sell them. It felt like it might do something, it might not. It's it's definitely an option, though. This is a really cool mod. I like, I like this mod. Like, this, yeah, combined with the ship's mod. <laughs> Potential for a lot of fun with these. So, right, you know what? That'll do is for today. So now we look at our wee bit of mod that we can possibly add in. So as usual, if anyone's got any suggestions for any cool mods, I think we should throw in for like a One Piece themed 1.16 mod pack. Let us know in the comments down below. And yeah, so the blocky siege mods. <laughs> Very good suggestion. Really like that. Yeah, I asked about cannons and I got given yes, cannons and then some very fun things to add on to. Yeah, well, it's basically a boats mod, which I, I sort of get. It's just one of those things of, yeah, it's just certain features aren't going to work for slash don't work currently. And that's why I was so confused last time. Making disassemble doesn't work. And, uh, yeah, the floaters. They ain't your float, but it's the engine. The engine's a real kicker. The engine just, you just end up going into orbit for some reason because you bounce on the water. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's a mechanic to eventually stop that. I don't know. Here's hoping. But right, for now, though, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. See you next time, wherever we randomly do another one of our little One Piece mini things like this. Maybe we can try and get Demon on or something in the near future. And do a little thing with him and see if the mod works, uh, the mod pack works online. Blah, blah, blah. There's the thoughts, possibly, maybe. Blah, blah. Right, see you next time, whatever we got to next. Go! Bye, everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey, Alexander01, and Isaac Washington, and our Anbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.